Hey, Science Seekers, we made it to 300 episodes. Congratulations to all of us and all of the science and STEM seekers around the world that are continuing to find science in every single place. And uh, for today's episode, we are going to be featuring the works of Srijay and Rishi, two of our Mead Made Magnus students. And uh, they're going to be watching their documentary about vaccinations. Um, it's very important, I think, and our show started on the first day of e-learning because of a virus the COVID-19 virus and uh, its spread. And since then, so the Science Seeker Show has been continuing to try and uh, teach everyone as much as we can about the magic of uh, the greatness that is the magic of reality and science and STEM all over the world. So please enjoy this amazing documentary that took first place in the History Fair State competition and is competing in the national level as well, eradicating epidemics, Edward Jenner and the birth of vaccination. Enjoy. Disease. Diseases have decimated human populations around the globe and contributed to becoming the leading cause of death in our world. Major epidemics such as the Black Plague, Typhoid Fever, and Tuberculosis have been horrific and deadly times throughout history. One lethal disease that plagued all of humanity led to the fall of millions and ravaged the earth with smallpox. Smallpox, caused by the variola virus, killed one out of three people it infected, and left many more scarred or disabled for life. The epidemic of smallpox was truly a horrific time in history, until one man changed it all. The creation of the smallpox vaccine was a huge turning point in history worldwide as it saved millions of lives and as the first virus to be completely eradicated, it paved the way for many other deadly viruses to be indirectly eradicated, saving the lives of millions more. Also as the first vaccine, it paved the way for the creation of the entire field of vaccinology and the many other life-saving vaccines in the future. Smallpox was first officially recorded in 1764, but it has been terrorizing our world for a much longer time. The origins of smallpox are quite unknown, as a description of a virus similar but not evident to be smallpox was written in 4th century China, while cases such as Egyptian mummies were dated back to the 10th century. Mummies like that of Ramses V tell us a lot about smallpox and its origin. Ramses V had the characteristic scars from smallpox all over his body. This led scientists to conclude that it is one of the oldest cases of smallpox, and it proves that smallpox has at least been plaguing humanity for 3,000 years, making it one of the most widespread diseases over the centuries. Early civilizations throughout the Old World practiced variolation a process of inserting dead or weakened microbes into humans to provide immunity to a certain infectious virus. In much of Asia and Africa, variolation is practiced by blowing material into a patient's nose. This material is scraped from scars and lesions caused by smallpox. These methods usually resulted in the patient having a newfound immunity to smallpox. Variolation was first introduced to America by a slave named Onesimus. Onesimus was an African-born slave who knew a lot about the process of variolation, also called inoculation. Onesimus told and taught his owner, Cotton Mather, about how inserting material from a virus could make it so that the virus wouldn't make them sick again. Mather used this information to popularize the art of inoculation in the distressing time of the 1721 Boston smallpox outbreak. Mather inoculated his own son, Increase Mather, to protect him from smallpox. Unfortunately, Increase became very sick and almost died, causing Cotton Mather to receive a lot of backlash and hate. The protesting and rebelling got so extreme that Increase started a riot against his own father. Despite the hate and protesting, inoculation was still practiced and used around the globe and remained the main method of preventing smallpox until one man changed it all. On May 17, 1749, in Berkeley, Gloucestershire, England, an immunologist by the name of Edward Jenner was born. 
As a child and young adult, Jenner had a love for nature and studying medicine, so much that he was apprenticed by a surgeon at age 13. In his years studying biology and clinical surgery in London and at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, Jenner gained a vast understanding of medicine and returned back to his hometown of Berkeley, where eventually he created the first ever smallpox vaccine. Edward was fascinated that a person who contracted cowpox would not be vulnerable to getting the smallpox disease. Jenner thought about this principle and used his findings to create the first ever vaccine. Jenner took material from his milkmaid, Sarah Nelms, who had a cowpox scab, and after some testing, he inoculated an eight-year-old boy called James Phipps with his injectable vaccine, consisting of the dead cowpox microbes. After some time, Phipps became slightly ill, but quickly recovered. A few weeks later, Jenner inoculated him with dead and weakened matter from smallpox. And James did not develop smallpox, proving Jenner's vaccine to be a success. After further cases and vaccinations in 1798, Jenner published his own book titled An Inquiry into the Causes and Effects of the Variole Vaccine. The book was loved by many scientists and doctors around the world, and many felt compelled to publish statements and reports about the potential and greatness this vaccine had. Jenner realized just how powerful his invention truly was, and the power it held to change society and remove smallpox from the world. Jenner increased the spread of vaccination by seeking volunteers in his hometown of Berkeley and throughout Europe. Word of Jenner's revolutionary vaccine spread like wildfire to America, Europe, and some parts of Asia. This was the start of vaccination. Edward Jenner's revolutionary invention of the first vaccine saved millions of lives and made huge contributions to the global eradication of smallpox. While variolation was an effective technique for the time, it wasn't completely safe, as sometimes the inoculated could contract a disabling or even lethal strain of smallpox. Edward Jenner's vaccine was unique as it was much safer than the previously used technique of variolation. Edward used cowpox matter, a disease known to be less deadly and to be mild in humans. Unfortunately, not everyone appreciated Jenner's innovative technology. Many were skeptical of vaccines and thought they carried a huge risk with them. Many people got sick from variolation, and some even died, which is why many people thought that Jenner's vaccine carried the same risk despite recommendations from true medical professionals. Despite the controversy, the majority believed in vaccination to be our future and did everything to make it happen. Global efforts were made to get vaccination to the whole world. Campaigns were made, volunteering started, even using orphans to distribute smallpox matter all across America. Humanity went out of their way to stop the threat of smallpox, and we were successful. The WHO officially regarded smallpox as a dead and eradicated disease in 1980, and it is regarded as one of mankind's biggest triumphs throughout history. Not everyone appreciates vaccines and the good they have brought. Individuals against vaccination deemed anti-vaxxers are people who despise and condemn the use of vaccines and vaccination. The movement started in the early 1800s, but has increased over the years rapidly, and is still seen today. Usually, these movements are based on weak evidence and complete nonsense, as there is a large amount of evidence and findings by true medical professionals supporting the fact that vaccines are safe. Despite the evidence, the anti-vax movement is on the rise, resulting in the resurgence of many illnesses and viruses such as the deadly coronavirus. The recent COVID-19 pandemic impacted all of us greatly and is still affecting our society even four years after. The only reason we were able to overcome such a tragic event was the rush to create a vaccine and the new breakthroughs we made in vaccinology. Vaccines have changed tremendously throughout the years, from using fresh matter from scabs and lesions in the early days to the new technologies of using freeze-dried matter and genome sequencing. 
These new technologies have allowed us to create better vaccines that save more lives, such as the mRNA vaccine that was developed in 2020 by Pfizer to finally end COVID's destruction. Edward Jenner's invention of the marvelous smallpox vaccine was a massive turning point in history as it went on to influence and change the entire field of medicine forever. Without his life-saving creation, the world would be in a much darker place. Jenner influenced and sparked the field of vaccinology and left behind a legacy of saving and inspiring millions of lives around the globe.